Local cleaning clients are looking for you using their mobile phone. So are you there? And if you're not, how do you get there? And how do you stay there when they're looking for you? We're going to go to the search engine, Google, of course, Yahoo, very similar. Uh, Google, we're going to go ahead and type in a carpet cleaning search, carpet cleaning Atlanta. Now, what we're talking about here, what shows up primarily for mobile users is this map area right here. Now, furthermore, if you're on mobile, you're a lot more likely to click on more businesses and look through here. Now, the funny thing is we search for Atlanta, huge city. Now, only three show up. How do you get to be one of those golden, magical three? This is all part of the search engine optimization process and specifically for optimizing for Google My Business, also called Google Maps. So what are some of those factors? Well, first and foremost, you really need to make sure that you're getting reviews. Now, the thing is that we've learned not only the number of reviews, because if you get and attain 500 view reviews and then you never get any more reviews, you're still probably not going to stay ranking. You could lose your ranking. But the thing is consistency. And they know, Google knows, that a reputable cleaning company has reviews. They also know that they are regularly getting in reviews and that they're probably a busier company that gets reviews. I highly recommend that you concentrate on getting reviews. We have a system for that where we can help you email, text, all of your past clients and usher them right into your Google My Business profile to be able to get you reviews. I highly recommend that you, if you don't have a system for that, contact me and we can help you out with that. But it's a little bit deeper than just the reviews. Part of it is selecting and setting the keywords properly in your Google My Business profile. Now the other part of it, especially in busier areas, tends to be some other things that you can do to tweak and get links coming into your site and YouTube videos that link to your site, putting maps that are embedded on your website. If we ever do a website for anybody, we always embed a map because it tends to usually help your Google My Business ranking. So let's take a look though at some of these here and then we'll also look into a Google My Business profile in just a second. But we're gonna click on the top guy, uh, Citrus Fresh, which I don't really know if that's a franchise or not. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's two maids in a mop. I know this guy over here who started this uh, big franchise. But here we go. And so, that yeah, they've got 383 reviews. They're giving service options. Now, I can almost bet that they've got their primary service categorized as carpet cleaning because they're showing up in the carpet cleaning search. And uh, yeah, they're, they're ranking pretty good because of some of this. Now, the other site, let's go ahead and look at Mr. Steam because this looks like a smaller guy potentially, uh, but he's got more reviews, but he showed up number two. Why is that? Probably some of the back end stuff in the back of his actual Google My Business profile wasn't as good as the first guy. Something he did actually beat him. Now the other thing that we're also looking at here is he does not have a physical address. So that probably could have been part of it. Citrus Fresh Carpet Cleaning does. Now here's the thing. There are ways that we know of that you can still not have a physical address to be able to get a pseudo address to be able to still beat and rank highly. Uh, it's really something that you should be doing to be able to get some ranking coming in. So here, the other thing that really tends to happen is some good SEO and things behind, even on your website. Believe it or not, even for Google My Business, you need to keep some of this stuff on your website. And this guy doesn't have much on his website, <laughs> ironically enough, but he does have, I'm sure, somewhere in the back end, he's got his uh, services for his cleaning company, uh, his city, he's got his address, and I would be sure that it's the same exact address that he's got in the back of his profile, right? So the thing is too, you got to list an address somewhere and this company as well here. Let's go ahead and look at their, that's his appointment page. Where's the actual web page? Oh, I can't find it. Or is this it down here? Yeah, I think this is him. Let's go ahead and look at that just for comparison purposes and be interested to see what they've got. Oh, this is the site that we looked at in another video. Um, he's got a local phone number down here. He's got his address, which would I would be sure be the same address in his Google My Business profile. Uh, he doesn't have some of the other stuff like an embedded map. He probably does have a lot of good local 
If he's an accredited business, so he's probably got a good link coming from the Better Business Bureau. Uh, he's got some other stuff going on here on the back end to be able to tag this here. He's got his keyword set in his headline. He's got his keyword set in the headline here as well. And he's regularly getting reviews coming in. I'd be willing to bet that somewhere in here he's got a map embedded. You know, and not always. The thing that happens with search engine optimization is there are ideas and things that I can give you but sometimes you can get away with ranking without doing all of them. Sometimes you can do nine out of the 10 and still rank. So he may, he may not have that map in bed somewhere, but he's got a lot of good stuff going on to be able to rank number one in a big city like Atlanta. So that's the thing uh, to be able to figure out what are they doing right? They're getting reviews or getting things set on their website. They're regularly, consistently getting reviews. They're posting to their Google My Business page. They've got pictures that they likely took in that exact area of Atlanta. So, uh, which is good. But so, okay, this, so this is his website here. He's got a WordPress site. He's got his keywords set. He's got his reviews, and this is probably a link to his review page. So he's got a lot of the stuff done right. He's got some embedded videos, uh, which, probably likely two ties him into the local Atlanta area. He's doing a lot of the right things. So just to show you two, I mean, the thing, one of the most important things that you should be doing for your Google My Business profile, this is an old profile that we've got. And in here, you need to make sure that your address ideally is here. Uh, and again, there's ways around that, but that's your, that's your best bet. And then being able to go in and make sure your website's here. If you have an appointment link in your service categories, this is one of the most important things to be have going on here too. And then citations. Uh, one of the big things too is make sure there's other websites all across the internet that mention your company's address and website along with your company name. That tends to be a huge ranking factor for Google My Business as well. And then two, your primary service being correct and your other secondary services being underneath that is pretty important. Posting regularly to your Google My Business page. Some of those things are kind of the quickest tips that I can give you within this short video. Coming up very soon, we're going to be doing an entire SEO and a bit of an update to the Google My Business package training course. We actually did a Google My Business training course about a year ago, year and a half ago. We're going to do a bit of an update on that. A couple of things have changed and we're also going to be doing a full-on search engine optimization course to show you exactly what you can do to get your website ranking at the top of Google. Sometimes it's a little bit of a task. Sometimes there's just small things that you need to do that sometimes in smaller cities, medium cities even, you can do to just skyrocket your site pretty quick. That's what we're going to be talking about in the future. Look for more videos coming up from Hitman. We'll talk to you guys soon.